Laura. I'm sorry. I'm Heather. Heather Weber. Who are you? You mean you haven't seen me on the news? I just got back to town. I'm Sky Chandler Quartermain. The crazed ice pick killer of poor Charles. Maybe a little paranoid, maybe even a little grandiose here, but are you sure? You haven't heard of me? Local businesswoman framed for murder, kidnapped, held hostage, and no one really believes that part. Stalked by a crazy blonde woman who actually tried to stab me? Sorry. May I ask what you're doing at the poor Charles Courthouse? Are you following me? I told you I'm a little paranoid. Just tracking down a few addresses at the courthouse. I wanted to know who's still around. Really? Well, how long ago did you live here? That was years ago. Did you know Laura Spencer? Oh, sure. Only I think of her as Laura Weber. You see, that was her maiden name. Well, wait a second. You just said your last name's Weber. Well, technically, Laura was my niece by marriage. But uh, it's kind of complicated. How is Laura, anyway? I've completely lost touch. Not well. As a matter of fact, the last time I oh, saw her... Oh, I'm she... so sorry to hear that. But she always was in some kind of trouble. You know what I really need right now? Is a place to stay. Do they still rent rooms at Kelly's? As far as I know. Well, I better find out for certain. I mean, otherwise I could end up sleeping in the park. That would be a little risky with the crazed ice pick killer of poor Charles on the loose. Excuse me? Oh, just a little humor among strangers. Good night. Oh. Good luck. I just kept picturing Nicholas in the courtroom, just all serious and proper to listen to every word I said. I am so sorry. <laughs> One second I don't want to talk about him, the next second I do, I... It just isn't fair. I'm... It's okay. You know, Nicholas, he would have wanted me to protect my mom, but just not at Skye's expense. Do you really think Laura's after Skye? That's what I thought at first, but, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Well, none of this makes sense. I mean, especially Rick Lansing's theory. I mean, why would anyone break Laura out of the Institute and, and frame her for the murder and of some cop? And if Skye wanted my mother out of the way, why let her out at all? I mean, why not just go to the Institute and... Make it look like a suicide. That's a terrible thought. Yeah, but it's a lot easier to kill somebody if they're already really messed up. Just a little, just a little tense these days. Um, I, I should have called, but I was just driving by and I heard about what happened. Are you kidding me? You lucked out. The last blonde I saw, I almost attacked. She was a perfect stranger. Hi. What, uh, what can I get you? Is Rose around? Well, if you mean Rose Kelly, she left town years ago. Luke and Bobby Spencer own this place now. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't lived in Port Charles for a long time. My name is Heather Weber. Hey, Mike Corbin. I run the place for Luke and Bobby. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, Weber, uh, you must have family around. Here and there. Do you still rent rooms upstairs? We sure do. In fact, a nice one just opened up. Would you like to take a look at it? Yes, very much. <laughs> so, um... What brings you back to Port Charles, if you don't mind my asking? Just here to renew old ties. I mean, love makes some people desperate. They do unimaginable things. and they, they lie, steal, cheat, rip other people's lives apart. Sky's done her share of that. Believe me, I know she's done a lot of damage in the past. But we have to look at what's happening now. I mean, Skye is insecure. She's extremely high maintenance and, and definitely in love with Luke, but I just don't believe that she killed that detective. Neither do I. I hope the jury agrees. I'm sure your testimony helped. Yeah, it might have been too little too late. 
Well, somebody's out there getting away with it scot-free, and I don't think it's Laura either. What if somebody's possibly saying that my mom is sky bought? Look at a frame within a frame. Yeah, but who would possibly go to that much trouble? Maybe Helena? Why would she bother? I mean, my mom was a terrible wreck. <laughs> my dad, I mean, he was just completely just trashed. I mean, what possible good is it going to do for Elena to go to that much work? Yeah, but they've both disappeared. And we know that's Elena's specialty. My gut is just telling me somebody else is involved. Who else is that insane? So, how do you like your new room? It's just what I needed. Good. That and something to eat. I'm starving. Well, uh, we have a couple of uh, specials left, if you're interested. And then there's always the chili, just like the old days. Thanks. You're welcome. So you just pick where you want to sit, and then we'll... Heather? <sighs> Leslie! It's been a long time. Well, I appreciate you coming over. Really, I do. I, I know we've never been very close, but I certainly can use all the friends that I can get right now since I am being framed for murder and I'm hiding in my own house as well as attacking strangers in the park. And I certainly could kill... Well, very poor choice of words, but I certainly could kill for a drink right now. And I... Oh, God. I can't believe I just said that. Listen to me. I... Ramping like an idiot starting to sound like the mad woman that Rick Lansing thinks I am, and... Well, not that it's any of your concern, but wh wh why did you want to see me? <clears throat> Jax. Jax? Is Jax all right? What happened? No, J Jax is fine. Like, he just... He feels really terrible about his testimony. Like, he betrayed you even though he told the truth. He's just... He's really upset about it, you know? Jax really cares about you, and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm out of line, but I just thought... When did you, you become so involved with Jax? 